Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, any mini here was very, uh, very scary. Basically saying she's going to serve us some humble pie, which is quite worrying. So I'm thinking, let's, let's get out of here. Let's, let's leave. June 21st. Did she catch me? Korean village. Looks like something's up. Stop, stop. Leave my mother alone. Wow. Hey, hold on, okay, Pearl? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear. It is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Mm, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. Uh oh, detective, do not upset me further. Ah, uh, sorry. Poor gumshoe. Being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Morgan. Mother. This has never happened before. Pearls? Mr. Nick. I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Oh. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick. Go visit her. Yeah, but I'll just leave you here all alone, Ivor. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. The stare is really piercing. Alright, let's do what you suggest. I need to get out of here anyway because I'm scared of any mini now. June 21st, 6.38pm. Detention Center. Visitor's Room. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think... Yeah, I'm thinking... It's, it's clear that Innie Mini is Mimi Mini, and Mimi Mini is the one who actually killed him. That's what's going on here. And maybe... Someone else is trying to take advantage of that situation and knock Maya out from the master's position potential sort of thing. That's what I'm thinking is going on here. There's two things happening. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. Memory serves. Maya had a few psych locks of her own. I was wondering if we were going to come back to that. Maya, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see about talk though. The Moida. Mia? Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer. I mean... There you go. Why do you think so? I mean... that? I'm really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah... Battle of Wits against Maya. Gulp. Oh, Mia. It's Mia, isn't it? <laughs> I keep doing that. So it's Maya when it's the A. Y A. Mia. Because it's, cause it's like Rhea. That's what I've got to do in my head. Like Rhea, because that's a name I know. So it's like Mia, Rhea, and then Maya. Tomorrow's trial. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did the real murderer... Get into the room and kill Dr. Gray. Yes. Also, 
When did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? The guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. Crane channeling technique. I never thought I'd see you this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling. Was something our ancestor, Mystic Amy Fay, acquired? I've heard that name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Amy was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism, Amitabha. Amitabha. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Korean sacred urn. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Yeah. Alright, present then. Let's go with the Magatama. Take that! -ding. The Moira. Phoenix, I think I'm hiding information about someone from you. Isn't that right? Yes. Alright. Then tell me who you think I'm protecting. I, mm, I didn't want that. I think you're trying to protect this person. Phoenix, don't let me down like this. I... Sorry. My life is on the line. Concentrate harder. I pressed the wrong button. Me is especially strict today. So, have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Alright then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. I mean... I think Maya... Right? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. And I think you're trying to protect this per- That's not right. Hmm. And it has to be a fae. But why? Because it's like... It's either Pearl or Morgan. But how would you doing, like... You doing everything you're doing now would not protect Pearl, it would hurt Pearl. But it would save Morgan. It's like, yeah, it's like, everything you're doing is like, stops us from getting further in the case with Maya. And would only damage Pearl. It's gotta be Morgan then. But why? Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Okay, well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Well, the only like information I can think is the stuff like with the furnace. Really? Because someone has to have put it in there. And I can't think of anyone else who would have done that, so... The proof is this piece of cloth. Found it in the incinerator near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Yes, but when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. 
changed her clothes. But why? I don't know why. But there's one person who could have done that. Yeah. The one person who was taking care of my... My aunt. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But this blood. And the fact it's the exact same color. And do you know whose blood that is at the, this point in time? No, you don't, do you? Do you have any proof that this piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Uh... The only thing I can think of is like, because the key was in there and... It's very much that case of like... Pearl found the key in the incinerator, so... I think this is the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. Right. And this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It would certainly seem that way. Someone changed her into a different set of clothes. And then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. There was only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. Exactly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but why are you protecting her? You're very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However... However, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know, my aunt is the culprit, and how did she commit the murder? Well, she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Who? <laughs> Any mini. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Any Mini were in cahoots. What were they doing there? Thank you. The murderer. Something's been bothering me all this time. The crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about the Fae Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, just why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that any mini is involved somehow. But I have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why why would she have to? Hmm. Also, I don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with any. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Why are you protecting her is the bit I'm a bit... Hmm. Um, because... Uh, mother. She is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Who's mine? Yours. <laughs> like Phoenix, come on. Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Mia and Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Have you not been paying attention? Now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. 
All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. So maybe she was just protecting her in that sense of like trying to get the information from Phoenix to make sure he had it. I don't know. Right, Chief. We won't lose. You say that to be continued. Alright. No. June 22nd. 9.51 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Number 3. Um, Nick. Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself. And she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and, well, uh... I'm the daughter of the Master, but... Still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but... I think you're really strong too, Maya. What you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey. Morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. I don't know if she's showing her support. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel... Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. But Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Phew, thank goodness. Nick, this way Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? <laughs> June 22nd, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom. Number two. Oh, it's a lovely courtroom. I was enjoying number two. Court is now in session for the trial of my affair. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing that foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. You were 13? Uh, naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh, huh. It's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hm. Glad to see you in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Ah, uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Nope. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. Prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Oh, it left a room? Well, it changes everything. But, Miss Von Karma, 
Then how do you explain this picture? What are you saying then? That the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fay, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? But I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. And that is... Yes? That is... Boom! You. Be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes. That is correct. Why in the world could have... Mystic Maya. She escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. My fae, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Did you escape from the channeling chamber? I mean, what? Water. 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 Miss Fay, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante of this trial. Maya's escape. Okay. Hmm. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. Okay. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. I'm trying, just trying to recall the events as they happened. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Mai's hand, and she was in a daze. Uh -huh. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. Afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hmm. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. Mount is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Yes, yeah, what I was thinking, like, hmm. It does match up with what we were thinking, so. I'm going to press her on everything, really. I feel that's all I can really do. Try and find something. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door. Open and entered the chamber. So I'm still thinking about gunshots. Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people? I was th thinking the bullets, but okay. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to... That foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lodda's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. 
Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. Simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. I already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I've already sent the repair bill to your office, Miss Delight. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Still gonna press her on it. Is it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. That is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I won't hear the end of that sentence. Question further. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Oh, it's quite respectable, it's quite... Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. The strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. What? But why would you lie about something like that? It's very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question that further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? Wait. What, pray tell, did she? Whoa! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. I want to know what this unexpected thing was that is always later. Is it? Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then quite suddenly... She thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. Is it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Yeah, but she can change. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about the picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Faye. Ugh. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. You fainted? I became dizzy, and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I am not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid. I have no knowledge of where she went after that. 
Was that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Oh, question further then. So while you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. So now we have to prove she does know. That's true. Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Oh, oh yeah. I was, I was thinking we, we were going to prove it like with some evidence, but okay. Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Oh yes, it was a good point from Phoenix there. I think he was right. It's true that the witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. Damn it. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fey did leave the chamber. Mm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Oh, it will. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone? No, oh, that's, that's, that's the first time hearing of it. Who was it? Prosecution calls Miss Innie Minnie. I was sleeping in the side room at the time. Innie Minnie? I think you can see where this is headed. <laughs> 